So I want to talk to just a minute about some of the features of this particular set of materials that I think are kind of special uh, based on sort of what I understand is out there in the world. So there's a ton of different great online resources for learning how to program. And depending on what you want to do, this site may not be the best fit for you. Um, even if it was like the best site at teaching what it teaches, maybe it is, maybe it's not, um, that may not be precisely what you want to learn. So for example, if you want to learn something like web development, we're not teaching that here. So a tool that allows you to learn web development or a website or a course that allows you to learn that particular skill might be more helpful to you. But there's a couple of things that we've built. So these materials are, you know, were created to teach computer science to thousands of students at the University of Illinois. And to do that during the pandemic, when we moved to an asynchronous online mode of instruction. So we really put a lot of time and energy into thinking through how students interact with these materials, how to deliver the content through the browser, um, and they've been tremendously successful in supporting students since that time. And we're gonna to continue to use it going forward. But how might they help you? So one of the things we really focus on with these materials is interactivity. We want you working with code, hands on the keyboard. That's sort of my motto. If you're just sitting back watching somebody talk about computer science, you're not really learning as much as you should be. You have to be writing those small programs, running the code, seeing what happens, experimenting, interacting with code. That's how you learn. You don't learn. I don't care how famous the person is or how fancy the stage that they're standing on is. It doesn't matter. You don't learn by watching. You have to do. So in this site, we give you lots of examples to experiment with code. We have these little playgrounds all over the place. We also built this special component called an interactive walkthrough. So it's a little bit like watching a live coding demo, except for the fact that at any point you can stop, interact with the code, and generally take over. We want you to get your hands on the keyboard. So, and you should take the advantage to do that. In the middle of one of those demos, you can stop, pause, maybe see if you can complete the next step in whatever we're going through, and then restart, and the demo will sort of take you where it was going in the first place. But we built this to allow you to interact and to move away from using video to show you how to program is just not as effective as these walkthroughs. So that's one thing that's pretty special about this site. Um, the other thing that's cool is that, you know, we have lots and lots and lots of essentially different instructors, both faculty members and course staff from the University of Illinois that have contributed to these materials over the years. What that means is when we explain something to you, there's frequently multiple explanations. So I'll take a stab at it. I'll use a particular set of metaphors. Uh, Colleen Lewis, who did a complete uh, set of explanations for the Java materials, has another explanation waiting, and she might move at a different pace. She might use a different metaphor. She might use a different example. And then frequently we also have course staff that have recorded their explanations of particular concepts. We did this because sometimes when you hear something explained, the first time doesn't quite click, you know? And it's important to be able to hear different explanations for something. And by recruiting different people, we get more of a variety of explanations. So that increases the chance that one of them will work. I mean, I could explain it eight times, but probably all my eight explanations have something in common because they all live up here in my uh, crazy brain. And so it's more helpful to bring other people into the conversation. So we've got hundreds of people from the University of Illinois, instructors and course staff contribute to these materials, and we're still adding contributions all the time. So that's another reason that I think this site might be helpful to you. Uh, third reason, or reasons three and four, are the programming exercises that we provide. So we provide a ton of programming exercises, we do them right in the browser, um, and we also provide some really unique types of feedback on your code. Not just did it solve the problem, but also is it stylistically correct? Is it overly complicated compared to the way that we solved it, et cetera? We refer to this as code quality, and we give you lots of feedback on that in ways that allow you to learn how to write code that's not just correct, but also beautiful and elegant and something that you could write in a professional setting and not get yelled at, right? Or write yourself and not come back to it in a month and be like, what was I thinking? You know, this is terrible. So, you know, we provide that type of feedback on your programming submissions. We also have a really cool set of exercises to be created to help you learn how to debug. It's really common when you're getting started programming to make lots of small mistakes. Actually, you continue to make those small mistakes until you're my age, but the thing is, you just get better at fixing them. And so we want to give you practice at that right from the very beginning. 
So we created a special set of exercises that consist of almost correct programs that you need to fix. And the more you do that, the better you get at seeing small errors in the code and also at understanding how to use the behavior of the program when it's not correct to figure out what needs to happen and what you need to fix. So that's something that's very, both those things, the code quality feedback and those debugging exercises are also really unique to this site. Finally, everything here is, is something that you can complete through your web browser. There's no extra software to install, so you can get started right now. You could even do some of this stuff on your phone. Wouldn't necessarily recommend it unless you're really good at you know, tapping with your fingers, which some people are. I'm a little old, so not so much. Um, but you know, anything I would suggest having a full-size keyboard with a phone, maybe you can get one that connects over Bluetooth or uh, to your phone as a peripheral. But you know, there's no software to install other than the web browser that you need to browse these materials. So all the programming assignments, all the walkthroughs, all done through the web browser. And if you continue to write programs, you're going to eventually use tools that are designed for writing programs. However, when you're getting started and you're writing simple programs, it's actually really helpful to not use those tools because those tools can cause you to develop bad habits. They can make things a little bit too easy. Um, and so, you know, the first thousand times you write a for loop, for example, you should write it out by hand, you know, on, using your own fingers uh, and not just by using some fancy feature of whatever programming tool you're using. Um, so also for some of you that don't have a computer to use, which is also totally cool, or don't have a computer that's powerful enough to run some of these uh, software development tools, we just bring everything in the browser. So you, if you're watching this, you already have the piece of software that you need in order to complete these assignments, which is just your web browser. So I hope that you know, we've created something that helps you, you know, but by all means, you know, make sure that your programming journey and your journey as you begin computer science is a positive and a happy one. If this site doesn't work, I'm not going to be offended. Go somewhere else, but just don't stop. Don't give up. Don't get off that path if you're interested in knowing more about this topic because it's tremendously exciting and there's a lot of amazing benefits to beginning to learn a little bit about computer science and programming. So, you know, don't, if this site doesn't work for you, that's okay. Try something else. I hope it does work for you. We're very receptive to feedback. You can make suggestions on our forum or you can reach out to us directly, uh, but I hope that you find these materials helpful.